Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. The frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other disease and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions for the benefactors and friends of the Basilica, and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the Angelus. Please kneel. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For far to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, word without end. Amen. Let us now pray, Doraccio Imperato. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of God, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. Please stand. Oh. 
Halina Jesus, Halina, Halina Jesus, Halina. Sa simulay sinalob mo, O Diyos, kaligtasan ng tao, Sa takdang panahon ay tinawag mo, Isang bayang lingkod sa iyo. Halina, Jesus, halina, halina, Jesus, halina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of Saint Andrew, one of the apostles. Andrew is the brother of Saint Peter. We continue then to be inspired by Saint Andrew's faith and most especially by his dedication of offering his life for our Lord Jesus Christ. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. We pray for all those who ask for our prayers and for all those and for the for those who are who offer this mass. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us also acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. For your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, 
peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed Apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever, Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart and is so justified, and one confesses with the mouth and so is saved. The scripture says, no one who believes in him will be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, and reaching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him in whom they have not believed. And how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And how can people preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But not everyone has heeded the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what was heard from us? Thus, faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes from the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Certainly, they did. For their voice has gone forth to all the earth and their words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The judgment of the Lord are true and all of them are just. The judgment of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing to the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all the, of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, 
rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold. Sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, we kind mo po na kikiniga ko sa iyong mga salita. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who is called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. He walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James the son of Zebedee and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father Zebedee mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boats and their father and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today, we celebrate the Feast of St. Andrew. As I have said in my introduction, Andrew is the brother of Simon, or we commonly call Peter. Mas popular po si Peter, di ba? Because Peter was the head of the apostles. And in the Bible, most especially in the Gospels, mas naririnig po natin o mas prominent po ang pangalan ni Peter. But actually po, in Biblical studies, uh, mas nauna po na naging disciple si Andrew. No? He was first a disciple of John, the cousin of Jesus, si John the Baptist po. Kaya si Andrew is familiar na kay Jesus. No? So yun po yung, yung connection ni Jesus kay Andrew. At ang pinapaniwalaan po nila ay Si Andrew actually ang nagpakilala kay Peter and Jesus. No, yan po yung iba sa mga interpretations nila regarding the brothers Peter and Andrew. But what is important po today is the calling of the apostles, no? Or calling of these four men, no? Si Andrew, si uh, Peter, Si John at si James. Yan po ang story ng ating pong gospel ngayong araw na ito. Like the apostles, no, we are also called. Yan po ang reminder sa atin, most especially during this season of Advent, that we are all called. Tayo ay tinatawag din ng Diyos to serve Him. Hindi lang po to serve Him, but also to preach the good news. Kagaya po ng ginawa ng mga apostles, they were able to spread the good news of salvation. Hindi lamang po within the circle of Jerusalem o yung mga kasama nilang mga Hudyo, 
But in fact, it was through the, the apostles that Christianity spread no? from Jerusalem, nakapunta po yan even to Rome, nakapunta hanggang sa Greece, nakapunta hanggang sa Russia, nakapunta hanggang sa Spain, ang pananampalataya. Why? Because of the work of the apostles. No? They all sacrificed their lives. No? They left everything to follow Jesus and most especially, they went to missionary uh, different missions. No? Kagaya po, for example, di ba? Peter was able to go to to Rome. Kaya nga nagkaroon tayo ng seat sa Rome. No? Kaya nga po meron tayong tinatawag na, na Vatican City. No? Because Peter offered his life there. No? So kagaya din po niyan, kagaya din po ni, ni Andrew, we are all called. No? Everybody is called to become an apostle. At ano po ang ibig sabihin ng apostle? An apostle po is someone who goes out and preach the good news, no? To spread and teach other people of the good news. However, during this time po of the pandemic, we cannot do that, no? Ang hirap po natin mag-build ng mga BECs o nahihirapan po tayo na mag magkaroon ng mga mga activities sa ating mga parokya. Hindi po yan hindrance para po tayo ay hindi po maging mga tinatawag natin mga apostles. Sabi nga po ng ating simbahan, we start it from the basic unit of the community which is the family, no? We teach our family members how to pray. We teach our children how they become a good Christian, no? Yan po ang tinuturo sa atin ng ating po ngayong mga patron, no? O ating patron Saint, uh, si Saint Andrew and even the other apostles, no? We start it sa ating pong mga bahay-bahay and even in our communities, no? even in our small communities, we can be apostles no? by doing what is good, by doing what is proper, then people can see, no? ito ay kristyano, ito ay katoliko kasi ganito siya. No? Hindi lang dahil tayo ay nagsisimba, kundi dahil nakikita rin po sa ating gawa, nakikita rin po sa ating pananalita ang ating pong pagiging Kristiyano. So like Peter, like uh, James, like John, and most especially our patron, Andrew, let us then continue to live out our faith no? sa buhay ang ating pananampalataya because that is the best missionary act na sinasabi nga po natin. No? Kapag isinasabuhay natin ang salita ng Diyos, kapag isinasabuhay po natin ang, ang kagustuhan ng Diyos, then we become missionaries to others. Kasi nakikita po nila na tayo po ay masunuring anak ng ating pong Panginoong Diyos. We continue then to imitate them. But most especially, we continue to be inspired by them that at the end, kagaya din po ng mga apostles, we also rejoice no, being with our God. No? We also rejoice with the reward na tayo din po ay makapiling natin ang ating Panginoon kagaya po ng mga apostles. Let us then continue to be an apostle in our families and in our communities. Amen. Please stand. Let us commend our intentions to the to the care of God the Father with the prayers of Saint Andrew. In every petition we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors, called by God to be fishers of men, may face the challenge of renewal by preaching the gospel. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries may become effective proclaimers of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called by our Lord to his service may respond generously to his call. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, and the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may live in the Lord's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, as we prepare to celebrate the incarnation of your Son, grant the prayers we make in union with St. Andrew the Apostle. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Ang himig mo at awit ko, lahat ng ito'y nagmula sa iyo. Muling ihahandog sa iyo buong puso ko. Inaalay sa iyo, O Diyos, O Panginoon, lahat ng biyayay, aming inapon, aming buhay at kakayahan. Ito'y para lamang sa iyo, kalwalhatian. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand. For the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings which we bring on the feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life by what you have accepted through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock. But through the blessed apostles, Watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. O Sana, O Sana, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guarded into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Shun, but deliver us, deliver us. 
Jesus from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all this curse, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to such your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Cordero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan Nang sanlibutan, mawa ko sa abin. Kordero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan. Nang sanlibutan, mawa ko sa abin Cordero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan ipagkaloob mo sa abin ang kapayapan Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us now pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May communion in your sacrament strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed Apostle Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please kneel. Let us now pray the mission prayer. God, our loving Father, you sent your Son into the world to proclaim the good news of salvation to all, to sinners, the poor, the oppressed, the sick, the abandoned and neglected. He gave his life on the cross for us and rose again to new life to redeem us and reconcile us with you. You sent your Holy Spirit to the apostles to continue the work of your Son and to lead all to salvation. We thank you, Father, for bringing us from darkness into light. Through your loving plan, 500 years ago, missionaries came to our land to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, your Son, to our ancestors that made us your people and the church. The gift of faith has accompanied us through both darkness and lights, defeats and victories of our history as your people. Our faith has become for us true light that shines in the darkness. Renew in us the grace of your Spirit that impels us to be witnesses of Jesus, your Son, to a world broken by greed, violence, injustice, sickness, and suffering. May our faith bring us to unity as your children, to care for and love one another. May the Holy Spirit empower us to be proclaimers of the good news to our brothers and sisters in Asia and to all nations. Give us a sincere desire to help others to come to faith in the Lord Jesus, to share in your joy and life. May the Blessed Mother, the star of evangelization, accompany us and pray for us as we live and share our faith with others. May our strong love and devotion to her as our Mahal Nina form us to be true disciples and witnesses of Jesus to all, always ready to be sent and to be obedient to whatever Jesus asks of us. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of the Earth. Pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead. To us, God, our Father, for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Please kneel. Let us now pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, 
they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Fiat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Fiat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Deign, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>